Hello again. This is our next episode of Daily Meta. Thank you for joining us once again. And we're really just going almost page by page through Search for a Nonviolent Future. I haven't reread the book myself for quite a while, and I'm really quite pleased at uh, how much it puts together. And I haven't had a chance or a reason to turn my back on any of the theoretical points. I said a while back that we would talk about perpetration-induced traumatic stress. Uh, this is a concept that came up uh, since the writing of uh, Search. I just barely mentioned it there. It is the idea that when we injure another person, we feel that injury. Now, this is something that's been documented and demonstrated scientifically by neuroscientists very, very recently. And it is one of the major elements that a nonviolent actor can appeal to uh, that you know that the other person really doesn't want to hurt you. It changes your opinion of who they are and it allows you to mirror that more empathic, more sensitive person. I myself remember being on campus one time threatened by four people who you know, could have made short work of me I had enough presence of mind to probably repeat my mantra and just walk through them without engaging. Happened to look back, uh, they were under a street light, and I could see from their body language that they were very relieved. They didn't want to do that violence. It was social forces and conditioning that had pushed them into it. So uh, I just will mention that if you would take a look at the quote from Franz Duwall on the bottom of page 48. Uh, it tells us something about why we haven't realized how powerful nonviolence is. We haven't realized the two things that I point out in this section of the book, that A, it's a natural endowment. Every one of us has this capacity for nonviolence within us. And B, it's very effective. We're going to talk more about that next weekend because, again, scientific evidence has finally come in to validate the claim that nonviolence is real and more powerful than violence. Thank you very much. See you next time.